do I nobody really heard my name yet. So. That's even better. You just started? Yeah. <laughs> That's three, crazy. three months ago I thought about doing this and I've been planning it, you know, investing in, into myself basically. Oh, okay. And our opening night is on the thirtieth. October the thirtieth. It will be an after hour spot from twelve to four. After that it'll be each and every Friday. From 12 to 4, after hour spot. But I got big plans. Like, it's not just going to be an after hour spot. You feel me? Well, You'll see. You feel me? What a way to start. <laughs> Welcome back to the number one podcast on the motherfucking earth. And today, we have Passion A. Hi, Passion A. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. We, we're very excited for you, to, for you to come in and spill some game. Because it's a lot of niggas out here that don't know nothing about the industry that you're in. Well, thank you for having and me. And I'm one of them niggas, I'm not gonna lie. But um so what's up with you? How's the week? The week's been um busy, mm-hmm. um, Did stressful, you? but mm-hmm. I've been getting through it. And you know, I got my baby to thank my husband, my fiance. Shout out to shout out to Q. He came up here looking like your security guard. <laughs> I was about to pat his ass down. Yeah, he, like. he, yeah I mean, he is security, period. That's what you need right there. See, she my security. I got my nails painted. I'm a bitch. It's like, no. But yeah. It's good, it's good to see you. So, if, if, well, so for people that are saying this that never heard of you before, what, give them like a summary of you. Like. Well, I'm from Baltimore, born and raised. Everybody know me from Janae or Nene or Sweets. You feel me? I used to strip. Escort, you feel me? All that, like, and them porn only fans, all that. Rizzo? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I've been in the game for a long time. Anybody that know me, I've been in the game for a long time. Um, I'm 30 years old now, so I'm ready to hang it up and start a family, you know, and build something. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I wanted to take what I learned from the game and try to elevate other females you feel what i'm saying that's in the game so that's basically what my platform is passionate clubhouse oh okay i like it i like it It all clicks now it all clicks now so where did you get that name from um my name is passionate your actual name um, is passionate no 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 my my that was my only fans name my, oh. my porn star name okay. passionate so i stuck with it basically because i made that my trademark name so it's passionate's clubhouse i like that name honestly I didn't go. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of. I had to read it a couple times before I could pronounce it. And then when you, and then when you sent me a, a, like a voice message and you pronounced it, I'm like, oh, I was right. Yeah, cause you know you got passion, but my name is Janae, mm-hmm. so you put passion, nay, passion, nay. So okay, okay. Pa- that's what you get, passion. Nay. So like, all right, you, you have your own goddamn club. Like, tell me, tell me about this. I kind of, I kind of want to go back to before and talk about like how long were you escorting and stuff. <sighs> <laughs> Damn, she counting. <laughs> no, it's just I, I did say you can ask me whatever you want to ask me. <laughs> so I mean, um, I've been at school and since I was sixteen years old. Mm-hmm. Is that? Can you do that? I mean, when you out here on your own. Jeez, how can you explain like what it what that was like? Like, was it like? All right, so, like, my mother put me out, you feel me, because I got pregnant mm-hmm. at a young age. And I wanted to be hot in my ass, you feel me? So she put me out. I didn't want to go by her roof. She put me out. And when I was out here on my own, you feel me, I had to basically learn how to survive, you feel me? Other than that, niggas was fucking you just to let you stay away, you feel what I'm saying, or feed you or whatever, but I needed money, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? No <laughs> so. cap, I felt that. That's where that came from. So, you know what I mean? I had jobs. I didn't, you know, I'm I'm not, that's not the only thing I know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been a manager or a security guard, whatever. But like a managing like artist? No, a, a manager, assistant manager. Oh. Okay. Yeah, at, at Dollar Tree. Oh. Oh, that's all. <laughs> Damn. You know what I mean? I was a security guard at Essex Courthouse. You feel me? Like, I had jobs. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a hustler. At the yeah. end of the day, like, I didn't made plates. I done did hair, nails. I'm a massage therapist, like a massage not, therapist. I did not know all I of this I clean houses stuff. on the side. Like, I do it all. Shit. I wear many hats. That's what that's what my uh that's what my fiance mother called you say to me. She's many like, hats. you wear many hats. <laughs> that's crazy. 
crazy. <laughs> I would have never knew that if you would have never like t- told me. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I got many hustles. You feel what I'm saying? But my babies are Passionate's Clubhouse and Urban Hand. They my babies. They they are my businesses, and you know what I mean that's oh, what uh, I that's what I put my time and my 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 hustle into basically. Uh, how long how long have you been how long have you been like trying to divert from the industry you was in into like the Urban Hands and shit? Mm. I would say I started that maybe like three years ago, mm-hmm. and <laughs> when I started it. I had just got fired from doing security. Damn. So I used my little tax money to invest into my business. How did you get fired? I got fired from security from sleeping on the She job. basically found out about my record. Oh. And was like, we got to let you go. But I was already working with her for like two, two, three months. Oh, hell no. I mean, yeah, and you ain't never paid my money back either. She ain't never paid my, <laughs> oh, fuck no. For my last paycheck. <laughs> give, me, give, give me your phone number I need address. my paycheck. <laughs> need that shit back in blood. How long ago was that? You need to see the motherfucker. <laughs> but it's all good, you know what I mean? I ain't tripping, you know what I mean? It is what it is. It was an experience, but, um, yeah, uh, what was your question again? <laughs> like, how, like, how long, like, how long, I said, how long have you been, like, trying to, like, convert type Oh, shit? yeah, 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 so I was trying to do that for a while after I lost that job or mm. whatever. I was doing it, you know, I started doing it out my house, I had a car, I was going to people's houses, doing massages, you know, um, but once I got robbed. You got robbed? What the fuck? When? <laughs> On the way here? No, nigga. <laughs> like a flat. When did you get wrong? Hey, uh, you just stumbling over all these goddamn. When, when I listen, I've been through a lot, okay. But like I said, I got robbed around that time when I was trying to start my business doing the massage, mm-hmm. and that right there made me want to stop. Mm-hmm. So you know, I ain't feel like I had you know security that type of stuff, all it. But now I know how to handle things. Like, one thing, I don't deal with no cash at all. Like, there's no cash whatsoever. I don't deal with no cash, my nigga. Like, wow, like, what's so wrong with cash? Because. I get paid in cash. One, cash is dirty. It's COVID. Oh, two, you're right, you're right. <laughs> two, two, motherfuckers can always take your money. But if it's on a card, you can always cancel your card. Your money is safe in that bank, Shit, period. That's hard. That's how I feel. That's I just how I, feel. I just thought I had to be like like little baby. But all the be time. careful with the banks you deal with. But you got some. You been with some <laughs> shiesty banks? <laughs> oh no! You need to Bank of America. Oh, <laughs> she went Bank of America. That's why she just said that. Wapenade is on the ones and twos over there. Shout out Wapenade. Oh man, they had to cut it off. <laughs> so what is wrong with Bank of America? Cause she trying to make me make an account at Bank of America. Okay, so they have a lot of uh, hidden fees going on. Like, say for instance, you will you you will get paid, right? You had this money in your account, mm-hmm. and you will go shopping, go buy this stuff, right? And you know when you swipe your card that you got X amount. No, you know when you swipe your card, you pay for that. If if you ain't had that money in your account, right? Oh. They would have declined it, right? But here it is. A couple of weeks go by, here they come. When you put some more money in the account, they swiping it. They taking it. Like, oh, what was you doing? <laughs> you know, they they taking the money from you twice, basically. Damn. So I'm like, if I didn't have that money in my account, why wouldn't the trans? Why would the transaction go through? Yeah, for real. And then you're taking it from me again. I'm not getting Bank of America. She- Bank of America ain't nothing, nah. <laughs> so, so what is your go-to bank now? Is it? Are you like a PNC? Get type your person? own bank. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. We are kings and queens. We need to start getting our own businesses and owning our own bank. That's Shit. where I'm at. But right now, I'm, the other bank that I would that I don't have problems with is PNC. I will say that. Shout out PNC. Yeah, I'm with I ain't gonna PNC. lie. I can't go back to PNC. I was. I ain't gonna lie. I, I used to. I used to try to scam and shit. <laughs> Got my shit fucked up. <laughs> I used to be one of them niggas, not gonna cap. Oh my god. So I right, I have a question for you. This is a question that I wrote down and I thought about. Mm-hmm. What is the difference between a stripper and an escort? Okay, so a stripper basically is someone who is a dancer. You know, she's an exotic dancer. 
she uses her body to get money Mm -hmm. okay an escort escort can be different things see the way (laughs) see i'm old school i'm 30 years old you feel me y'all new school girls we out here doing the most but i'm gonna tell you what a real escort is is i'm gonna tell you what a real escort is a real escort is somebody that gets paid to go out with you on dates okay she an that's an escort. She gets paid to go out with you on dates to show you a good time. Now, if you after that good time, if you want her to do more, you have to pay more. But she's just her being there. That's an escort. She's just your eye candy being on your arms. That's mm. what an escort is. I thought I, this whole time I thought an escort okay. was like a. It's like a, like a personal like prostitute type thing. No, 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 no. A prostitute has a pimp. That's different. Escort, prostitute. Then you got dummy. But some of these prostitutes is dummies and they ain't even got fucking pimps. <laughs> they like out that. here fucking and sucking for 40 and $30. You fucking Damn. the game up, shorty. Like, <laughs> when I used to be, I used to be mad at you bitches. What is you doing? Oh, hell no. That's, what is you doing? This is a sucking dick for $40? Ooh. Fucking and sucking for $40. That's, they, that's, they give you everything for that, my nigga. Like, $40. And they be pretty. So so Bad when you bitches. were saying when you were saying you was old school, like what's so what is so different? Like what is the difference? Meaning when I say I'm old school, like when I say I'm an escort, okay, I went I could carry myself as an escort. I know how to pinpoint my clients out. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I don't treat every client the same. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So that's that's the thing about being an escort. You feel what I'm saying? Some niggas might just want to fuck me. Even if you just want to fuck, I'm still going to get my money. I'm never going to settle myself less, mm. period. Or you can keep it going. Even if I just had one sale that day. Yeah. Or no sales that day. It be hard because there's bitches out here that want to fuck for 40 and $30 and make a whole of bitches like me that want to stay there. They be like, oh, bitch, you do it. Can you, can you send me them Can you send me them girls' Instagrams? That <laughs> you stupid. Shut up. It's like, no. Yeah, all right. It's like, I'm flat. Okay. Yeah, right. So so tell me about the transition when you were said you were stripping until like until you were escorting. Like, what was like what was that difference like? Wait, wait. Before you answer that question, I got to answer. Hold on. Got, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I got to ask you a question before then. When you get into stripping, is it like a gang where like you find like an OG type shit? No. Oh. No. I mean, it's not even necessarily that it's it's who you be around. Mm. For me, that's how I feel. Like it's always like a home girl mm. that's probably like in in that shit and she bring you to the club type shit. Cause that's what happened to me. Project, mm. my home girl brought me around to that type of lifestyle. Shout out the project. <laughs> You feel me? She the one that brought me to that strip lifestyle. So I started dancing with her and my own girl, Ariel. That's who I used to do private parties with. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And we used to go to strip clubs and dance together sometimes. So, mm. yeah. so, so tell me, like, tell me what that lifestyle is like. Is I, is it just like hella carry out food and just like dollar bills? Uh, when I was doing it, mm-hmm. uh, no. What was it, it like? It was uh, pill popping, getting fucked up, getting money. Strippers be popping pills? I, I mean, yeah, I was popping pills. Shit! <laughs> I mean, if you, I mean, yeah, to bitches pop pills, they sniff coke, they do it Are all. you serious? Nigga, yes! Oh, my God. Some I... of them sniff coke to stay in shape. Oh, my God. You'd be surprised. Yes, a lot of these models that you see on TV, they sniff coke to stay in shape. Holy fuck. The industry was like crazy, my, my nigga. Like, so, so you, so you basically been in those type of environment. You've been, I've been in those you've environments. Been, yes. You actually been like, I've been to a strip club, but you've been behind the scenes in the strip club. Yes, I've been in those type of environments, but I've all, I, I need came, to know what that's I like. came from, you know, that type of family where some of my family was on drugs and stuff like that so Mm. drugs to me i never wanted to do nothing hard i tried pills you feel what i'm saying but it was never really my thing so that's that's why all i do is smoke weed and drink now you feel Mm. me like pills not my thing for real i ain't gonna lie pills was my thing i had a fucking i used to love e pills molly (laughs) shout out to molly man molly 
cheese up, hose down, neck and lady. I mean, I did it all, but no, not no more. That was back in the day, like when I was young, teenage. I'm 30 now, like. So now, now you like you like you like yo Gotti, like you 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 putting out you putting out money bag yo type shit, but it's like in stripper form. <laughs> if that's what you want to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I does, mean, I just yeah, I just feel like I just I just want to help other women. You feel what I'm saying? Even though you in this industry, you're not a whore. Mm-hmm. You are still a queen. Dancing is an art. My my after parties is no soliciting, it's no escorting. Mm-hmm. It's just dancing. Yeah. You feel me? And I want my girls when they make their money, if they wanna invest into their business, I'm here to support them. I don't want them to stay with me forever. But I want my club to be yeah. And when they see them girls move up and elevate, that makes me look good. Cause when they look good, that make me look good. If they look bad, I look bad. You no feel cap. me? Like all my girls, they know they get free promo, free photo shoots. They get the best. Free photo shoots? Yeah, I pay for everything. Shit. You feel me? I pay for the venue. They get free drinks, free food. All they, all they gotta do is show up. The bitches is definitely all they gonna gotta be do is. You up after they, this. I mean, I require a tip out, but the tip out not even expensive. What I require for my girls. What's the tip out? I can't. I can't share that. That's that's between me and my girls. That's okay. between me and my lady. A tip out. <laughs> I'm a guess. I'm a guess. A tip out is when you is when you is when. Is when you leaving and you taking out tips. Cause if I was a tell, niggas would be trying to take my motherfucking recipe. <laughs> don't give a don't give away no sauce. That's that's the number one rule I on ain't this shit. Stupid. That's the number one rule. Don't give out no sauce. I ain't stupid. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get back to let's get back to the club. So like, All right. so how? So tell me about like what like the type of shit that was happening around your life before you started this club. Like what? But like. What 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 inspired you to be like? I want to start a club. Um, I got tired of just putting myself out there for one. Mm-hmm. I got tired of it. I was I fell in love. I was ready to be a wife and mm. shout out to Q. <laughs> you know, um. He played a big part in it. Let's oh, yeah, let's that. talk about Q. He played a big part in it. Um, That's kind of the reason why I kind of changed my ways, you feel what I'm saying, because I really loved him, and I, I waited for a man like him for a long time. How, where did you meet Q at? I, um. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I didn't say nothing funny. <laughs> Q, you gonna answer? Uh-huh. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's that's we gonna keep that disclosed. Oh. I thought you was about to we say do, like McDonald's. We gonna keep that disclosed. Just now, he a good man. Right? Okay. And I love him. So, all right, uh, we're not gonna up. talk about like where y'all met and all this. Let's talk about when you met him. Like, what did you think when you first got his vibe? Like, like, when, like, what was it going through your mind? Was he like the instantly like, damn, this nigga cute, that nigga. I thought he was very sexy. He was cute. I liked his swag. I liked how he was very humble and laid back. That nigga, yo, Q, that nigga. Um, Take a round of applause one more time. <laughs> hey, Q, man, shout out to you, man. You that nigga. You put on a good, good example for us niggas, man. But I played my cool, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, like, I ain't kind of Baltimore looking for love. Like, I came to Baltimore trying to get this bread, you feel me? You not from Baltimore? I am. I am here. Like, I was a, I am from here. I'm sorry. I am from here, but mm-hmm. I wasn't living here at the moment okay. when I met him. Okay. So, when we met each other, you know, I was just on some dating type shit. I wasn't trying to get serious. Me, so, but I fell in love. Oh. You feel me? Um, one thing I can say, like I tell a lot of people, like which he knows, I he wasn't the only person I was dating. I was dating two other people. Mm-hmm. Um, I wasn't, you know, uh, putting my all into all of them. Like I, I was really into him. Cause anytime he called me, I go to him. But what I'm saying is, weigh your options. You don't have to be sexually active with everybody. Just weigh your options and you'll know. 
you don't just when you date with somebody don't mean you have to be committed to that one person because when niggas out here doing them, they do them. Mm. And I'm not saying y'all wrong for doing it, but that's basically dating. Yeah. We have a right to date. Dating is dating. Dating means you have options. It is. It is. It like does a, not mean that you have to be confined to one person. Yeah, it is like a conception that like like a nigga can date a girl and fuck other, but a girl can't do the same thing. No, no, it's not. No, it's that's not. What, that's what niggas be thinking. No, 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 no. Y'all need to stop that. That's when you are in a relationship when y'all become cons- when y'all become exclusive. Mm-hmm. If you're not exclusive, you have no say so who dick go in her. Mm. Just like no, she has no say so who the fuck you talking to because y'all not entitled to each other. Yeah, y'all just fucking just like you fucking her, the other girl. Yeah, honestly, I feel like men are like sometimes as sensitive. Y'all like, territorial. No, that too, but we insecure. Like, we sensitive. Like, in, at and heart. so are we. We very emotional. But it's different. Like No, uh, it's not. I, I guess we are all I guess, humans. We have all, yeah. we all have feelings. I guess a woman could also <laughs> get a gun and kill somebody in that, in that aggression and anger acts. It's so as a man, so. That, listen, I just feel like right is right, wrong is wrong. When, you, when you're grown, Mm-hmm. You know what you want. Mm-hmm. Don't waste nobody time. If that person ain't giving you that, that's where I was at. That person ain't all right. He cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he giving me money. Yeah, <laughs> his dick may be good. All right, <laughs> but that nigga ain't shit. You feel me? Or that's he, how you feel about me. It's, it be some shit with them. You feel what I'm saying shit that you ain't really want to be taught. Like, do you think about? Do you really want to deal with that? You feel what I'm saying? You're going to find somebody who, because everybody got some shit. But it, that's what love is. You got to find somebody who shit you willing to put up with. Damn. And when that person, that person, that's what it is. Because they're going to be for you. But they got that little little shit with them, you know. But, hey, that's that's my shit. You know? I'm his shit. Say, he's my shit. Shout out to Key, man. <laughs> Key that nigga. He, he, yeah, he that nigga. He put his fucking down. Just the, oh, jeez. <laughs> just pal, like how. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just like, just like how Key you was. He's watching. I'm sorry, Key. Just like, just like how you was, like, explaining, like, his vibe when you first met him. I'm like, bro, that's, that's my goal. That's how I want to be when I grow up. Was I like that when you met me? He'll say when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's like no, okay. We back to the production of the club. So okay, mm-hmm. this was that. This was so you talked about like what was going on in your life. So like that next day when you woke up, what was the first thing you did? Like I'm gonna make this club happen. Hey, right, so basically, um, I don't know. I felt like the shit that I was doing before, what I tried to do, that shit really wasn't working. My shit. Okay, so I was trying to is my mic on? Yeah, turn the headphones up. A little I was bit. trying I was trying to uh the girls that I had before Passionate's Clubhouse. No, the one before the end, my bad. Uh-huh. The girls I had before Passionate's Clubhouse, okay, mm. before Passionate's Clubhouse was even thought about. Um <clears throat> well, it was still Passion Ace Clubhouse, but it wasn't that type of clubhouse. It was more like a bunny house. Bunny that house? was my what first. Was I was, I was, I was pimping bitches. Oh, that was the first thing. That's gangster. That was the first thing, but that didn't work out. Can we talk about that? Pimping sure. bitches. Sure, we could talk about that. But that's what the, the basically. Let me just answer that okay. question first yeah. before you ask me any more questions. Okay. When that came about. I was just like, you know, I got a man. I'm not going to sell my coochie. I'm going to find bitches who going to sell the coochie for me. But I'm not no type of, I'm I'm like, I'm a good female. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm not the type that's going to try to take all your money. Like, pimps, they want all your money. And they just going to make sure you stay fresh and your phone bill paid. Blah, blah. They doing it. You don't get no money. So is it like, a, is it like. So that's not me. Your money is your money. Only thing they got to do is. They got to send me a deposit. That way oh. I know they serious. So when they show up, whatever you wanted, that's your money. But they got to send me a deposit, though. Mm. And my deposit was only like $50. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? That was my deposit off of every, every girl. You feel what I'm uh, saying? I think I want to start so, pimping. 
make a long story short, things ain't work out with that. How? You feel what I'm saying? Because bitches is bluffing. Oh. You feel what I'm saying? They really wasn't serious. They they wanted to do it. I didn't force them to do it. They yeah. wanted to do it, but they wasn't serious. They was bluffing. And I was wasting money booking rooms and all that. So I felt like. You know, so was it like? Was and it? then hold on, I okay, ain't done. Okay, okay. And then, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> take your time. And I'm then, not watching. okay, so I was using this website. It was something like Backpage called Mega Personal, mm-hmm. and I was posting them on there. And somebody basically, I guess, reported my page and my shit got deleted, saying I was a spam person. Whole time we wasn't spam. Okay, so so they reported us. So then. That then that just really fucked everything up. I couldn't. They wasn't able to make no money. No clients was calling. You feel mm. me? So of course they really disappeared. Okay. Mm. So I I was like, okay, what can I do now? Because I kept having these dreams that I was doing something for females. I'm very superstitious. Call me crazy, but I kept having these dreams that I was doing something for women, yeah. and people was like. Ain't nobody else doing this. And da, 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 da. So I just kept channeling it, you know, channeling mm-hmm. it, trying to do something for women. Because especially in an industry that I know of, I'm familiar with, that's what I stuck with. And mm-hmm. that's, that's that's basically where we at now. You know, that's how I, I thought about doing it. Like, you know, coming up with the at party. At the, it, it was going to be, you know, demon time at first. And then I'm like, you know what? I ain't gonna say no names, but one of my babes came to me and she told me about one of her other managers she was dealing with and basically yo was on some other stuff, you feel me? And she ain't like it. And a lot of girls complain about that. And what I know other how stuff? I felt. Meaning like, you know, forcing you, not even forcing you, but say like, are you saying you wanna dance? Mm-hmm. But they got dudes in there thinking they can ready fuck you. You feel uh, what I'm saying? So they, you feel what I'm saying? And, and then they making money off of you while you fucking these niggas. They mu- making money off of you while, you know, you in here dancing. Niggas ain't really spending no money. It's like you basically his little sex slave type shit. And then he want to fuck you when he want to fuck you. Damn. Like, no. The ma- the, they talking about the manager? That's how he was carrying shit from yeah. my understanding. And I'm not going to speak on no names because yeah, that's yeah. not the type of bitch no I name. am. You feel me? But she, you feel me, she came to me, and when she said that to me, and it's not, she's not the first female that has told me about stuff like that, about, you know, nasty-ass guys or whatever. And I've been in the game, and I know the shit that I've experienced. Niggas so be weird. I just want, yes, I just know, I just know, I just want, when they come to my establishment, they safe. Yeah, I get, I like me. You know, I ain't, no, ain't none of that weird shit in my establishment. And none of that nigga gonna get carried the fuck out of there. You feel me? I don't play none of that. They gonna be treated as queens. Just how we respect you as kings. Cause mm-hmm. I look at all my I look at all my black men as y'all's kings. And that's how all 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 my girls look at y'all. And y'all gonna treat them the same fucking way when y'all in our clubhouse. Amen. Or you getting carried the fuck out. Q gonna be at the door like you said, who baby? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like that's just I just want them to know they safe. They ain't, I ain't gonna never tell them, oh, yeah, you know, yo, want how that. No, I ain't gonna never try to make them do nothing they don't want to do. Mm-hmm. Even if somebody won't book them for a bachelor party, she don't feel comfortable doing it, you ain't yeah, got to do it. <laughs> yeah, Purdy, that's good. Fuck that money. All money ain't good money. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I'm one of them. Like, I'm not with none of that. I don't call them bitches. They know. Like, we can return up the mall. They already know. We going out girls' so, night. So, like, being... <laughs> Being like you were saying, like 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 you saying, um, like a manager as far as like the the dancers and things. Mm-hmm. Is it like a is it like is it like the movies when Pinky had like like girls and shit? Like he was like, bitch, shut the fuck up, say one more thing. That's how niggas be. No. Oh. I mean, I don't know what other people do in their clubs, but me, I have respect. Like I said before, I have respect. I don't call them bitches. I don't talk yeah. to them like that. I think it, if I, I was to call them bitches, it'd be on some playful shit like yeah. bitch. 
Do that shit, bitch. I'm you jealous. Me? As a man, I wish like, I could say bitch like that. I, I uplift my queens because they queens. Like, we all a team. One bang, one sound. Even though I'm the boss, I'm the manager, I'm the CEO, they are my babies. Like, mm-hmm. you feel what I'm saying? When they look good, I look good. I will never bel- belittle them or dim their sparkle. Mm-hmm. I want them to shine, honey. Because at the end of the day, when them bitches shine, they're going to be like, yo, they started the clubhouse. Yeah, they was fucking with passion. Nay. I'm not going to lie. I'm, pull, I'm pulling up October 30th. No cap. You want, it, oh, that's another thing I want to ask you. If you pull up, listen. Y'all pull up. I got, buy y'all a ticket. I'm telling y'all. Y'all got, y'all got free drinks, and I'm going to get y'all free plate. So just get y'all a ticket. We I'll in there. i get y'all free drinks. I'll get y'all a free drink and a free plate. I'm getting that ticket tomorrow for us. We in there October 30th. Y'all got to come get your wristband or I drop it off. Cool, cool. Because y'all need a, y'all going to need your wristband. So what's, the, so what's the plan October 30th? October 30th, you feel me, basically it's going to be bad bitches in the building. <laughs> Good food cooked by moi. Shit. <laughs> Drinks made by moi. A.K.A. mini hat. <laughs> And live performances. You feel me? We got live performances in the building. I mean. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we got three guesses coming and performing. Money bag, yo? No. Oh, fuck. No, ain't. We got Baltimore. I, I show my city love. You yes, feel sir. me? Support is free. Yeah. So, yeah, my Baltimore niggas coming in. That's the all right. Sh- the drag. I ain't gonna I mean. lie. I ain't gonna lie. When you in a strip club, you need a cool, grimy ass nigga come in and tell you, fuck it, throw some more ones. I mean, other than that, you feel me? We're gonna have uh, best costume, ones of treats. It is so gonna be a Halloween. Costume, costume. Yes, it is a costume party, so show up in your costumes. I don't, I know, I, me personally, I, I and always. And whoever has the best costume, male or female, you will win a treat. What is it? I can't tell you that. It's a oh, treat. Shit, it's, it's a going, treat. I hope it's, I hope it's a dance by like a fucking, um, you I'm never to know. Do you, so do you already have the ladies for that night? Yes. My girls is a part of the clubhouse. All my girls going to be attending. I ain't gonna lie, I was looking at the Instagram. It's not one, and then we have a birthday girl, Alonza. She's the B day girl. Alonza. Alonza, yes. Shout out Alonza. She's the B day girl, so we also celebrating her birthday. We gotta take out two hundred just for her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what she look like? Y'all go on my page, check her out. Hold up. She about to show me right now. But that's another thing I want to ask you. When I was looking at your story, how do you not get your page deleted or reported? Not. Both. I okay, mean, do you not under, listen? This is not my only page. Mm-hmm. First page. I was deleted. I was. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> At 5.6K. Oh my God. I was deleted. <laughs> and then I made pages after that. <laughs> like, nigga, shot. like, probably like four or five. Five of them? Four or five. Shit. Nigga, this like the six. The fuck? Oh, hell no. They be deleting your Instagrams? Listen, it don't be Instagram, though. Niggas be reporting It don't shit. be Instagram. It be the bitches. It be the bitches. How you? What you mean? How? Listen, I ain't dumb. I, I don't know. The we, bitches be reporting it? We be having haters, yo. I'm not dumb. Listen, what? Listen, bitch, you know who you is. It was the one bitch. She got mad because I ain't want to be a motherfucking friend no more. Oh, hell no. Because she was messy. I don't do that messy shit. You try to be what my type of What type of messy? All right, I'm going to tell you. you don't, don't, try no to, don't, try to, don't try to build a relationship with me off of somebody that both dislike us. Hmm. That's one. Okay. And then, even after I tried, because I ain't going to lie. I want homegirls, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so even if I try to, I seen the one red flag, but I try to still try to be cool with her. Give a bitch a chance. You know, she basically had an issue with one of my friends I was already hanging with. So when she get to talking shit about her, excuse me. It's okay. Mm. They, they see, they see that you, take that out. they gonna, they gonna <laughs> see that you've been ingesting shots. You good. You good. I so anyway, you. um, she was talking shit about her or whatever. And make a long story short, 
when she was talking shit about it, you know, I'm listening to it, blah, blah, blah. All right. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. But when we see her together, she like, yeah, that was such and such. When we leave the club or whatever. So I walk up to her like I normally do. Hi, baby. Hug her, kiss her. Because mm, that's my baby, you know. Your homegirl. She like, yeah, what's up? I oh, heard you got. No. You mean, on some, I mean, shit. And I'm like, whoa, what's going on? So I'm like, they going at it. But when she, every time she try to get close to her, you feel me? I like, no, nah, chill. Yeah. And then I, I'm standing beside her. You feel me whole time though. You feel me. Is like, it like y'all been closer more than the other relationship type shit? Is it like that type of thing? The girl, the the, the girl be the girl before or the one that just came around? Cause the one that just came around is the one I'm talking about. She okay. just came around. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. I'm so talking about course, the other girl, the one that you've been closer with. Yeah, like, that that I was closer with her. Yeah, but we are no longer co- closer mm-hmm. anymore. And you know who you are. Man, that's crazy. How you just <laughs> like I just I just cannot <laughs> fathom how you deal with females like. Listen, I'm an Aquarius. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, um, uh, um, what's that thing called? Zodiac sign. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't really, me personally. I'm, I'm real deep into all that type of stuff. I don't personally believe in that shit. I do. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a Leo. You're a Leo? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. She is a. Sagittarius. Oh. I like Sagittarius females, but Sagittarius men. Can be aggressive with Aquarius women. Yes, yeah, so I was I was in a relationship with a Sagittarius male, but Sagittarius I, I get along with them. Leo's only Leo man I know is um my I have a big cousin. Mm-hmm. He a real nigga, ain't he? Yes, Big Ty. Shout out Big Ty, Leo <laughs> gang. Yes, sir. Big Ty. Shout out Big Ty. He's a Leo, so yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Y'all, 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 y'all breadwinners, like, yeah. Yes, sir. And y'all loyal. Yes, sir. And y'all make sure family hey, good. Hey, let, let, the, let the record <laughs> state that I'm with the baddest bitch on earth to this day. Wapinator. <laughs> yes, sir. Fuck you, bitches. I don't, I don't got no exes. I never, I'm a virgin. She my first body, all that. Yes, sir. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> so, you know, so, you were saying, like, you were saying that, I, after like your club start, like you plan to doing more shit. Like, what's give me some? Give me, let me, let me hear your vision. All right. Well, just a little bit. I ain't gonna put it all out there, but yeah, don't give them the sauce. um, my my thing is, it's not gonna just be stripper shit. You feel me? Um, I, my girls, they gonna be getting paid by the hour doing other stuff at the club. One, and, and it's not going to be a club. I'm, I'm getting a different type of building. You feel me? Um, I'm not buying a club I'm, I'm from nobody. I'm doing my own thing, basically. And Jeez. my, I want it to be all female reign. I want to have a female DJ. Jeez. Uh, female greeters, female bartenders, all that, all female. She's trying to be a bartender, but she, like, can't find a place. Oh, well, you can come to the clubhouse thing. You're more than welcome. She, she's definitely excited <laughs> for this interview. I told her about like, you. Like, it's the cheekbones for me. Like, <laughs> she's a, she a baddest bitch on earth, ain't she? She's so pretty, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, you're more than welcome. Like, I want all baddies, you feel me, at the at the clubhouse. So, yes. Yeah, she's definitely I all... don't. I'm not a hater. I'm far from a hater. I want mm-hmm. all pretty girls at my shit, period. Mm-hmm. So do you, so let's tell let's talk more about your club specifically. Mm-hmm. What's the address of your club? I can't tell you that it's a private event. Oh yeah, it's, it's, private. A, it's private. You need a ticket to get in, and there's no paying at the door. Ain't no fucking. And it's a, it's a head count. You feel me? Oh. I don't let everybody come in. It's private. You you That's lucky hard. if you get in. So, but we good. We can get in <laughs> we, when we buy the yeah, ticket. Yeah, yeah. Once you yeah, of course, of she course. Get your that. ticket. Get your ticket. Yeah. <laughs> you good? We, we, we in there. <laughs> All right, give us give us a price frame. What is that ticket like? Ticket is twenty dollars. What? Yes. I might get an action for my nigga. Tickets is twenty dollars. Yes, we got live performances. You feel me? Live DJ, food, good food. You know what I mean not just no one, not no hot dogs and hamburgers. You got collard greens in that bitch, don't you? Yeah, I might do that one day. Ain't no collard greens. <laughs> Ain't no collard greens this time, but That's you know, we got some greens. We got some veggies going on. I'm definitely excited. We making that shit. I'm, I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna make sure my 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 niggas is good. Y'all good. Yes, sir. <laughs> we good in there. Everybody's gonna be good. Y'all gonna be full and drunk. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> the only the only problem is that I I think don't you have to be twenty one to be a bartender, right? Um, I don't know about that, but it sounds about right. Yeah. Cause she's twenty. Okay. Okay. But her well, birthday's in like time, two months about, or so. About Okay, well, yeah. So after you that, After that, you feel me? If she ready to come, we open every Friday. You could be my bartender if that's what you want to do, period. Like, we got you. I, I got feel, you. I feel special now, so you got to pay me. This is a finder's fee. Get your little photo shoot and all that. That is hard. <laughs> all my babies get photo shoots. <laughs> so, so do you have, like, a, so, like, when you, when you go into, like, recruiting another girl is it like a is it like a you gotta like take them out on a dinner to see like that vibe type shit like how do you go no, about it um i do facetime interviews mm-hmm. um if i if i'm feeling your vibe i ask you for a facetime interview i do the facetime interview um basically at the end of the day it's basically just like being in the person's face you feel what i'm saying interacting with them so i go off of your vibe and your energy talking to you you feel me? So that's basically how I've been hiring my girls lately. Um, we do outings like we're doing tomorrow. Um, we're having a girls' night. It's not no meeting. We just go on all just basically get together and fill each other out and turn up and fire. have a girls' night. Like <laughs> just turn up and have a good time. Uh, the clubhouse way. That is hard. I'm so like I like, like I, just, I tell I don't mean to cut you off, okay. but one thing I tell them all when I hire them that we are all a team, that we are all equal. Even though I am the manager, I am the CEO, of course, boss lady. Um, I'm not better than nobody, and I feel like we are all queens. You feel me? So I want them to know they queens too. You feel me? So one band, one sound. That's just how it is around here. Have you ever heard of P Valley? Yes, that's my shit. <laughs> I've been watched that shit. Like, yeah, me and her <laughs> been watched that shit. That's too. my shit. Like, I listen. I didn't completed that show. I don't know. Listen, you rewatched it. Oh shit! I love that show. Like, that's my shit. I'm jealous. I definitely got. We we definitely got rewatch that shit. You want some more water? Down in the valley where the girls get naked. Hey, <laughs> shout out the murder gang. You know you go shake it. One, two. You want some more water? <laughs> Yes. It's a, it's, oh no no no! I got oh. I got it. Oh, that's your. What cup is that? This is uh, that's the cup you just took out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought that was your water cup. As you can see, we treat our co-hosts over here nicely. We got yes. my we got my nigga we got my nigga Q out there drinking good. He over that bitch <laughs> chilling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he sir. He said he need a refill. You need a refill? <laughs> you need a refill, Q? Yeah. All right, I'm coming up there. You gonna bring? He said, I need a refill. <laughs> shout, shout out to, shout, uh, you know why I call her Waffinator? Huh? You know why I call her, her nickname is Waffinator? Waffinator? Why? Because don't you know Terminator? Yeah. And don't you know WAP? Okay. Like Gucci? No, Wap. like WAP, like wet ass pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Why he, yeah, why he putting you out there like that? She don't, she don't that, like, she don't, I, don't, I don't let other niggas call her Oh that. my goodness. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! See, uh, th- I ain't gonna lie. Another nigga definitely called Wap Nate. I was like, "Hey yo, what you say?" I ain't gonna Q, Q. Tell me how it's like. You had to press niggas before, like yo. No, I, it, luckily it ain't, it ain't, I ain't had to press nothing. He ain't had to press nothing yet. That's no, good. Yet, no, not yet. That's good, yo. Q Ray catch your body. That's what he just said. He <laughs> oh, about that. Know. He getting that shit back in I blood. I already know, honey. I already know. You on the phone? Yeah, I'm on live if, a little if bit. You, if you want them to, oh, I was ready to say if you was like, but oh. I ain't gonna be on here long. It's you cool. Can keep going here. I was, I was saying like if like if you if you, I thought you was like saying like if you're on the phone with someone like I can like plug it up and like they can hear them and you can like y'all can have like a conversation with them and I can ask them questions about. Oh no, it's not one of that. They just oh you on Instagram my, live? Yeah. Hey Instagram live, <laughs> it's lit. Yes, it's lit. We lit. So how are you feeling the podcast so far? Is it pretty chill? Yes, I'm loving the podcast. Um, thank you for not embarrassing me. I would never embarrass you, nigga. I w- <laughs> nigga. Who did I embarrass? Did, did I embarrass? It him? was just the questions for me. When like, I asked the nigga if he was eating ass. Yes, yo. <laughs> I was like, yo. I hope he don't ask me the type like. Hell no. Ask me no weird ass questions, yo. Like that's because that nigga specifically. I went to high school with him, so I know. I, I know he cute. He be eating ass, dummy. 
He be eating ass. <laughs> I'm not playing with that. Uh, that nigga probably do eat ass, but you that know. That nigga was too honest in that interview. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. I'll be asking niggas questions like, nigga, you know you didn't have, have to ask that shit. Answer that shit. But that's me to hear there. Jazz, what's up? Shout out to everybody on the live tuning in shout right out, now. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Yeah, yes, he, sir. I mean, he got me here doing a podcast. I don't know why lit. nobody didn't interview you. Like, you're a female that has her own club. What the fuck? I just started, bro. But that's I a, haven't even opened yet. I opened on the 30th. That's our like, first night. So come on now. Like, that's, that's probably just, why. You feel you me? You that nigga. Like. But I'm trying to tell you, like, if my page hadn't got deleted before, I probably would have been got asked for stuff because I was getting... I had you know who um you know who Vaughn is yeah funny no not from Baltimore he's kind of like he's you know oh. he's gay he's from Atlanta no don't know who it's it is Vaughn and Mom y'all know who I'm talking about Vaughn and Mom no okay it's like a ghetto they from Cali but he was he wanted me to be on his shit Shh. it's just like it, you from it, I had a couple people like hitting me up I'm happy I'm, I'm happy I'm the I first I don't even toot my horn but I had a lot of people hitting me up like yeah I'm so, happy I'm the first podcast shit, it is what it is you I know, still put their work in you know you, you, you're you like from that like since like you, you, you part of the family now so you like if you hit me up tomorrow like yo some shit happened I need, a, I need an interview like I got you Okay. I got you. Say no more, bro. Yeah, I got you. Then say no more. Yeah, I'm trying to do. <laughs> All right. Like so, a, what if I wanted to get my girls interviewed? Could I, I get can my girls that. interviewed? You, I can. We can do an interview with your girls. Also, we can do like, I, cause I do like a live show on Fridays. Okay. So like, they can just pull up on my show, and we can just like, just it'd be on some chill shit. You know what I mean? I bet. And it's not like, oh no, you know what I mean? It's on some chill shit. You know? We we going. You feel what I'm saying? We After can, the party, we going. We gonna see, you feel me? <laughs> yes, yes, sir. We'll I hopefully the motherfuckers let you do a party in that building, cause I will want to come. No cap. Q, is it gonna be lit? So, would you say Q is your number one supporter? Yes. Oh. Yes. Shout out Q. I'm That's jealous. He said. You said what? I say yes, nigga. <laughs> y e s, look, you right get my ass. Calm the fuck down. Fuck. I ain't gonna lie. When you texting me like, yeah, my fiance, I'm like, fuck. I need to make somebody my fiance. That's the ring. Stop playing with me. Yes, Can I see this it? This is the engagement ring. This not the. Can I see it? Ring. My my ring gonna get bigger than that. Damn, it's gonna get bigger than that. Yes. <laughs> Yo, that nigga cute is. She fucking... told me this is the engagement ring. <laughs> I was gonna give he shorty. He got a ring too, and his ring gonna get better too. Yo, cute, he, yo, cute. Let me see your ring, yo. Let me see your ring. You bust down like sh- like her. It's so you yeah. are right. Yeah, BBS is in that bitch. <laughs> BBS is in that bitch. Yes, period. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I, I, I definitely, I'm definitely, I'm definitely want that chemistry personally. Waffinator is gonna be my fiance. She is. All you gotta do is propose. A propose. Listen. If you gotta question it, don't do it. But if you know what you waiting on, look at the world. How listen. Look what we going through. Like, fuck. Fuck what everybody else think. What do you want? Yeah. You know. The time don't wait on nobody. Yo, you better get your love wise right here and God bless. She right here. She you know what I mean. And she right here. And you guys. Make sure you lock that down. She definitely that <laughs> nigga. No cap. Uh, fact, no yeah, cap. Don't be I'm, dumb, my nigga. I'm not losing the baddest bitch on earth. You feel me, don't, Q? Don't, 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 don't be dumb. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yo, yo, Q, if you want to, you can you can pull a chair up next to the door so you won't have to be... <laughs> sit right there. Yo, he, lit, he lit out that bitch. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> <little> Q lit. <laughs> Yeah, kid, bust down, got the watch on. <laughs> would y'all, would y'all, would y'all like out today? Would y'all like out doing some shit? Um, no. no. Would, man. He, he just got, got off, off. I was about to cook dinner. I literally just got he off work before I came here. He was just a little bit, and I was like, oh, because I had an interview earlier. Mm-hmm. You know, wanted to celebrate a little bit, because I think I got the job. Shout out to the interviewist. Give my give 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 the girl the job. She deserve it. She they they don't call a mini hat for nothing. 
Yeah. If they don't, it's cool. It's whatever. I don't care. Honestly, since you <laughs> since you the plug, like, why won't you start your own podcast? You are like the third person that said this to me. You can start your own podcast. People keep. I told you some like, and I like to talk. I like to talk about stuff, but I don't know how to do it. I guess like. I don't yeah. have one. I don't have Wi Fi. I use my Wi Fi. You phone. you can you will you can and literally. And I see use... she got a she got the computer, but I got a laptop. But I don't have all that. No, you don't have <laughs> you. I have a podcast <laughs> network for a reason. You can start your podcast through my network. Okay. Do you know what a podcast network is? It's basically like, it's basically like, it's basically like Spotify. Like you go to Spotify, you listen to music. You will come to the podcast network to listen to podcasts because it's like you know this podcast network is gonna have this show, this show. I got you. And you're interested in these people and then these people. Okay. So like, oh, I got you. Okay. I got you. Okay. So you want me to have my own little days where I come here and do my own little podcast? All you gotta do, and like the the and like I feel like like you have like you can you don't need to write like me personally when I do my show like I might need to get some topics down like oh Kodak. Touching his mother button some shit. You saw that? <laughs> yes, yo. Now listen. Now listen. Let's talk about that. Now listen. Now listen. How you feel about Kodak listen, doing that to his listen, mother? Listen, Linda, listen. I don't give a fuck what fucking general uh, background you come <laughs> from. I don't give a fuck about none of that, my nigga. Like, you don't grab your mother ass the way he whooped his mother ass. You act like you helped her from falling to something and then accidentally grabbed her ass or something. He grabbed her no, ass he like said, three times. Mm, and jiggle that motherfucker. No, my nigga, we not doing that here, okay? Right. So I don't agree with him grab his mother ass, no. And it's so crazy because like a couple days before he did that, mm. he posted on Twitter how he feel like he don't have nobody to love him. And all this day in the third. So now, you, you you feel like the only love you get is your mother. So your mother is your woman, your mother, everything that you... So you what you about to stick your dick in your mother too? You want to fuck mean, your mother? It's, it's, uh, uh, it's, well, as, how did you grab your mother ass? As weird as it is, like... That's weird. He, Kodak is from the Caribbean. That's like, that's what they... Like, they appreciate that one mother's like way more out there. No, I don't give a fuck. That ain't no way more. <laughs> He definitely, that's not way more. That's, that's how he grabbed nasty. her ass. Yeah, it was weird. It was weird. Like, you wanna, you wanna celebrate your mother way more? Okay, you know, do shit like this. <laughs> you know, um, kiss her feet. Um, put her, bathe her feet. Um, put lotion on her legs and shit. You know, rub her hands. Give her, uh, get the fucking fuck massage therapist coming in. Give her massage. I don't fucking know, but you ain't gotta grab her ass. What you gonna do? Lick her pussy next? Yo, he was definitely. Excuse my language. I'm it's sorry. okay. It's a it's a podcast on YouTube and it's not for kids, so you can say whatever you want. Okay, I just want to make sure because I don't want to get muted out. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Ain't no shit like that. I said worse things. Hey, but like I said, like that's just nasty. Yeah, that's Kodak. Kodak. Come on, you need it. You like Carisha? What's her name? Carisha. <laughs> Do you love me? You like Carisha? So. Oh yeah. That's Young Miami. He like her, so you need to be over there trying to grab her ass. If anything, not your mom's. I think, I think that's disgusting. I think Kodak. Your mother is your mother. Just because you came out the pussy does not mean that it's your coochie. <laughs> oh my god, that's nasty. I, I, I personally like. I think Kodak. The video of Kodak grabbing his mother's ass is like it tops the him. It tops the video of him like dropping his phone in the shower. Oh boy, y'all. You saw that too? Oh my god, no, I didn't no, I did not. This nigga was on Instagram Live in the shower and he dropped his phone. He did that on purpose. They get they get likes and views. He did the that way, on purpose. The way he picked it up, I it looked like he was you. guilty. He did it on purpose though. <laughs> you know what I'm he did about. it on purpose. He did that shit on purpose. I ain't gonna lie, like he did it on purpose. I'm trying to tell you to get attention. To that get was the exactly craziest what he shit I saw. I never, People do crazy shit nowadays. I never thought that. And I, I feel like he that. probably grabbed his mother ass for attention too. Because he tried, but you ain't gonna get nigga and, and no bitch gonna wanna do it to you now. No, for real. You want you wanna fuck your mother or something? I mean, he is the nigga that made no flocking and he still got some pussy somewhere That's in his nasty. DM. If you made no flocking, nigga, you you, you ain't nothing you can do. Don't get me wrong, like his music, but 
I don't give a fuck if Q was the greatest mother has like that. Shh. I don't give a fuck. You a pedophile if you do that, Q. <laughs> <Don't cap. laughs> That's weird. No, we need to have a talk. No cap. A, a family talk. You know, even like like a month before then, it was it was it came out that he was like he basically was in <laughs> rehab for like doing like you know who used to do meth? Who? Kodak. That Florida, it was hella. Florida, it was hella young kids doing meth at a certain age, and Kodak I mean, was one of them. I, I could see that. I, I could believe that, but I did not know that. I'm not gonna say it like I knew that, but I could believe that. But I did not know that, and that's crazy. Yes, Kodak has been. That, that's why. That's why I was gonna say like like a month before that whole video came out, he was in the he was in rehab type shit for that reason. Mm. But nigga, all I can say is Kodak, get better and stop groping your mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, nah, um, all right, okay. So let's talk about. Do you have do you have favorites? Like, if you can name your favorite girls that you manage. I'm gonna <laughs> make. I'm gonna call you out. I'm gonna make you call favorites. Now, see they like, see they say you ain't supposed to have favorites. All of them are my babies. Okay, all mm-hmm. of them. I I I treat all of them equally. I don't treat nobody differently. I don't give nobody, like, different treatment. None of that. I treat everybody the same. But I will say who is my favorite (laughs) because she been around since day one. She's who? And she ain't never switch up. She been sticking with me, grinding with me. You know what I mean? Let's shout her out. And that's unique. Unique. I'm going to be there October 30th. My neat me. That my thank you book. She's going to be there October 30th? <laughs> yeah, she going to be there. Because I'm, I'm only throwing ones on the ones that you tell me to. I'm not throwing the ones on and nobody else. other than that, other than that, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm really, I'm really feeling Naya. Shout out Naya. Naya. You know what I mean? Um, Henny. You know I mean? And Chop. Like. Yeah, you feel me? I ain't gonna like, lie. I was looking they at really, Henny They really, they really, they really showing like they really trying to be a part of my team. Like they really putting their work and shit. I ain't got asked them to do. Like they really doing that shit. You feel me? And they ain't giving me no problems. Like it's all good energy. Mm-hmm. Like we all respect each other. You feel what I'm saying? It's not like somebody feel like we over time. Like it's it's just all natural. <laughs> I just I it's, it's, it can't no other way I can explain you it. Some more? Sure. There's no other way I can explain it. You feel me? And like I said, at the end of the day, I love all of them equally, but my my favorite is Neat Neat, Unique. She's my favorite. Unique is my favorite because she's been with me for the longest. She, she's been around since my first group. Damn. My first group I had when I started Passion Ace Clubhouse. And she honestly, she wasn't even the one that like, like she did what I asked her to do. You feel what I'm saying? Like, before I met her, before we actually met up face-to-face and did the photo shoot, like, she did everything I asked her to do, but she ain't show up on time. She was one of the ones that ain't show up on time, right? And whole time, reason why she ain't show up on time, because Neat Neat had to be some my ass. She one of them. Ooh. You feel me? Neat Neat don't play. Like, Neat Neat. Neat Neat don't play. Like, she gonna be there October 30th? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> yes. trying to, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm Neat Neat don't to play. Meet these girls. Like, and I'm trying to get her out of that because she's so pretty. You mm-hmm. feel me? And she she got a lot to offer. And I'm I don't want people scratching her up. Bitches bitches hate on her. You feel me? Cause she Where'd dead. Did he leave? He probably gotta go to the bath. He ain't gonna no fucking way. He, close the door? he right, probably cool. gotta go to the bath. He ain't gonna no fucking. I just way. didn't want him to be locked out type Oop. shit. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should not have asked you if you wanted more. No, I'm I'm good. Believe that I'm good. But yeah, um, cool. like I said, Neek Neek is my favorite, and you feel me out of everybody because I feel like you feel me. She's been with me for the longest from the first group. This is my second group now. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Um, and she's been with me for the longest. Um, Henny, Henny has been around before you meet. She more like family for real. You feel me? That's Shout why. Out Henny. I mean, that's why I don't really feel like I'm. She don't even give me problems. I ain't going to have no problems from her. You feel me? That's my baby. But like I said, all of my babies, you feel me? But 
You ask the question. It's Neat Neat. She's the favorite. That's my baby because she Shout out Neat Neat. held it down. She show up at every photo shoot even though she got beat a bitch up. Oh, yeah. She's still going to show up. And I'm like, bitch, you a little lady. She like, bitch, I had to beat this bitch up. But she still won't be very posed. So basically, pose, so basically, <laughs> Nene definitely, definitely got some videos online of her fighting somebody. No, nah, I don't know about all that. She do. Yes, she do. She probably do, but I don't know about all that. But like I said, that, I'm trying to get her out of that because she better than that. She's yeah. very pretty. You feel me? She's smart. Mm-hmm. She's a lovable person, mm-hmm. you know. That's, so I feel like she got more to offer than just, the bitches they be hating on her, trying to take her out of her curse and take off her game. Yeah, you feel me? And I'm trying so hard, like, listen, bitches gonna try you. They hating on her whole time. Like, bitches tried me, and I and I know she can fight, cause I know I can fight. You feel me? I know what she going through. She remind me of me. You feel me? So I be trying to tell her like, chill. You feel me? Like. Okay. And she been chilling. She ain't been she ain't been fighting and stuff like that. She really been chilling for real. That's good. You feel me? And getting her money. She in school now. All that. Like I'm that's, proud of my that's baby. That's one thing I can say about you. Like the girl when I was going, I was looking through like before the interview. I was looking through your shit like to see like if, what type of girls you were picking. It was like you pick girls like you can see the potential in them type. Of yes. Shit. It's yes. not just like no cute girl with a fat ass. That's that's the number reason why I really wanted to interview you. Yeah, um, and that's another thing. Like, um, I had a lot of girls that was cute mm-hmm. with a fat ass, but they was dumb. You can say that again. You feel me? And I'm sorry to say that, but when I say you dumb, like. What's your definition of dumb for this type of situation? When you got somebody that's willing to invest into you, it's okay. Take your time. Thank you. How long we been on? Hour. Good. That's good. We had a good talk. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, um, what's your question again, please? Fuck! I forgot. Do you remember? Oh, God. Shit. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm lit, too. Um, Babe, do you remember the question? This nigga, this nigga just came from the bathroom. <laughs> he is not. <laughs> it, I, I kind of remember you said when you something. Hold on now. We're going to remember this bitch right now. They, they're going to. I'm sorry. I should. I should have. He threw me off. Went to see because my shit was all the way up. Probably. And he was not Okay. In let's let's just let's. <laughs> Um, I had asked. Ask something else and say Okay. Let's ask something else. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's another thing I want to ask you. So your, so your club, mm-hmm. do you have like, so do you smoke in your club? No. You don't smoke in your club. I don't smoke in my club, um, but smoking is allowed. Mm-hmm. I don't mind it. It all depends on the, the, the venue. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So. Um, the venue for Halloween, yes, people can smoke there. Um, and that's just that's just what it is. But you never know. Like I said, it all depends on the venue. I've I don't been, mind smoking. I don't mind drinking. But I I don't want nobody in there sniffing coke. Mm-hmm. I don't want nobody in there trying to sell coke. You niggas is not allowed at the door. None of that stuff. Q gonna be looking at you at the door like nigga, get out of here. I see that weed in your pocket. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yo, Q, I'm about to hire you for security, bro. No cap. It's like, no, but, but like, you, I, I've, like, I was telling Q, like, I've been looking for my own place to, like, shoot up, like, do my own podcast. Like, this is not my studio. I'm renting this out to somebody. Okay. That's why I asked you, it's like, oh, do you be smoking and shit? Because, like, if you had a room to rent out to me for my studio. Oh, uh, well, no, I don't. I'm renting for other people right now. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> but when, when I get my shit, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. When I was talking to him early, I was thinking about it because, as you can see, um, I have artists coming mm-hmm. to my party. I have live performances. Like before I even got into doing this, 
I used to rap. I used to be with a rap crew. I done done a lot You used to be with a rap stuff. crew? <laughs> BM Dub, yes. BM Dub? Uh, we can talk yeah, about this right now. <laughs> <laughs> what was your rap name? Uh, Sweet. I got it tatted on me, yeah. You got it tatted on you? My name was Sweets, yeah. That's hard. I didn't get my rap name tatted on me. Yeah, my name was Sweets. Um, I was a part of BM Dub. Who was BM Dub? Um, my home. <laughs> hey, yo, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Who is BM Dub? I need to know. My homeboy, Perez. Shout out, Perez. <laughs> yes, sir. Is he a Mexican? No, he's not. He's he's black. That's his rap fuck? name. That's his rap name. Oh, okay, okay. That's his rap name. I thought you said yeah. that was, I thought that was Perez. Wow. He was like the head nacho. You what's, feel what's, me? What's Perez like? It, last name. Um, I can't remember. Um, it was so long ago. Honestly, like. Oh, when you when were you rapping? When I was doing this, this is probably like I was like nineteen. Oh, it was definitely before Meg Thee Stallion. You feel me? Nineteen, twenty when I met them, like, and it was it was me and the girl kid. I never forget it. Me and the girl, we was the girls of the group. <laughs> oh shit! And she was the one that wanted to sing. She wanted to sing, but she thought she was a rapper too. Shout out to Kia, man. And no, we ain't shouting out the kid. Fuck you, then Kia. <laughs> Straight up, you fucking, with, you fucking with Passion A? You no, fucking with no, me? No, 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 oh, no, 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 no never mind. Shout out, that's all. Oh, never mind. I take no, it back there. Q, I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I'm about to join you, nigga. We ain't supporting people that don't support me. That's <laughs> all. That's all I'm saying. I feel you. She she ain't crossed me in some ways, and she knows she did. So is Q gonna be there November? I mean October 30th. Of course, that's my fiance. He gonna be right there by my side. So he gonna have his own like section. Um, because I'm trying no, to kick with Q. He go. Well, y'all can kick the, the guy, but y'all do y'all thing. But no, ain't gonna be in his own section. His section is my section. We gonna oh, be together. Oh shit, that's hard. All four of us gonna be together. Yes, I guess. we in that the bitch. shit. <laughs> as long as long as we invited, I'm cool. Listen, I keep telling you, get your tickets. It's I'm getting my dollars. my ticket. But you're gonna see, like I'm gonna ask and you for you your good. shit tomorrow. And I told you, once you get your tickets, you y'all ain't gotta pay for no drinks. Y'all ain't got to pay for no place. Y'all good. We in there. I got there. y'all. We in y'all there. in there. You feel me? Food and yeah, drink. Y'all good. Y'all hey, good. Hey, Q, you going to spoil what's, what's on the menu type shit? No, he's not. <laughs> no. Yeah. He, his, his favorite it, food probably like sloppy joe. If you from joke. Baltimore, you going to love it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a, I'm a chef, bro. I'm a chef, bro. Oh, you a chef? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. I'm fucking with Q more a little bit. <laughs> he, he be he be steaming crabs and all that. Steaming he know how crabs. to do it all. He can he can build you a room and bake your plate. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a DM I'm a DM this nigga Q like yo I got some live crabs in my in my trunk. What's up? <laughs> I'm so no cap, no cap. I'm 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 definitely like. I'm definitely like excited to see this since I, I didn't know too, I didn't know that this was the grand opening. Yes, this is the grand opening October the thirtieth, and I'm so excited. I can't. I'm excited. I can't wait. Be- I gotta decorate. You know, I'm gonna decorate. I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna do my best to try to wow y'all. So you know, I'm I'm, I'm not rich. No. So it ain't gonna be fucking. Bottle girls come through with sparkles with and shit goddamn, and all goddamn, that and fireworks. Signs. But guess what? It's going to be nice. And I'm going to make sure I make sure everybody is comfortable because, you know, I want everybody to be uh, comfortable and happy. And okay. I'm just going to, yeah. Okay, so my last question. Customer service is everything. I'm going to be on my shit that night. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Welcome to Passion Ace Club. <laughs> you want a glass of water? <laughs> y'all need water over here? Y'all good? Okay. Yeah. Go to the next crowd. Y'all, would y'all like some water? Y'all need some shots? Y'all I, good? Y'all want some plates? I swear to God, I'm canceling shit right after this for October 30th. But no, niggas gonna come get plates. I ain't asking niggas y'all want plates. I'm sorry. I ain't bringing y'all plates to y'all. Y'all better come get y'all plates. Y'all is not Fuck disabled. That. Y'all niggas is not retarded. Fuck that. That's a little too much. Only plate I'm serving is my man and yours. You gonna make my plate? 
I said we your three, but we gonna be in there together. We is so. in there. I can't wait. I'm excited. We gonna be in there together. So explain, explain to me this this Halloween type thing, cause I'm personally against Halloween. I'm like a bitch. Like I don't watch no scary movies. Like Halloween to me, I've always celebrated Halloween coming up, like. Because my mother dressed in me up as a kid and all that. So she ain't never, you know, take that away from me. She never took holidays away from me. So, you know, I may not have always dressed up and celebrated every year as I came, got older. But this year, yeah, you feel me? Um, I feel like, you know how some people rush to, to throw things together? I've been putting my playhouse together um what well, for now maybe like three four months mm. i didn't had thoughts i didn't had i didn't went through this girl and that girl you sound like you about to you drop an album you said three four so, months i'm i'm saying like it takes time to get where you want to get everything ain't gonna happen even when i do my halloween night like that don't mean that that's where that's that's just that's it mm-hmm. <laughs> it's up from there though like that's my first night. That's my grand opening. So deal. The di- since this shit is October thirtieth, the plan is to have this out like the week before, like like right before, like so it'll be like leading, like it'd be like a build up type shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's the plan. Yeah. Cause I, I even if I got to take out some interviews, cause this is worth it, nigga. You Thank can, you. You can catch me at the Passionate <laughs> Playhouse. I mean, Thank Clubhouse. You. Period. No, That's October thirtieth, and you can catch Wapinator there, and throw some ones on her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wapinator like, gonna be yeah. in there serving drinks. Make sure you tip our fuck you talking about period. And, and I'm her security guard, nigga. I'm her key. What's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up with that? It's like no, but I mean I'm that's loving it. that's really like. I, I got. I can. I can talk to you for like two more hours, but it's fucking already about to be. Man, it's ask me the last little bit. Whatever you want to ask me, we out of here, nigga. What's up? I, I can't. I asked everything. You feel so? I, I, let me think. Let me think. I think I got one more. All right. Don't think too hard. Can you hook me up with a personal dancer with Hennessy? I mean, yeah, but How much booking, is it? booking, booking it. Booking is required. I gotta see if it's walking to approve. She gonna think I'm catching feelings. Um, you wanna be personal by yourself or with WAP? Like, I feel like that's your lady. That's who you want to marry. It's you an item. It's one. It ain't no you do things by yourself no more. Yeah, no. Because if I was WAP, I don't give a fuck who the fuck the bitch is. I'ma beat you and the bitch. She don't ready to me. kill shit. I remember she sent me. She sent I me. I wish a bitch would think she get ready to pop her coochie in my man fucking face. You not popping shit in if, Q face. If Q, if Q, only coochie popping in his face is mine. <laughs> hey yo, Q, you that nigga. Y'all man. can pop that coochie in everybody else's face, but don't you twerk that ass that way. Yes, sir. You better act like you don't see it, and and th- 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 that's a brick wall or something, bitch. I don't know. Unique. That's you fire or not. something. I don't know, but don't you go that way. Yo, Q, I'm at the grab you. I respect you yeah. way more now, bro. Way before. <laughs> She's a skankbag! Skankbag! Yeah! Like this, <laughs> <laughs> She's a skankbag! <laughs> Shit, I need to start Get doing that. Man, on Get that. <laughs> on that note, man, we we ending this off. We signing off. Thank you yeah, again, Passionate. Passionate. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Next Level N L Passionate. P A S S I O N A E Clubhouse C L U B. You feel me? H O U S E. Basically. No underscores, none of that. None next of that level shit. passionate, because it's next level out this bitch. No yeah. Cap. And, and if, thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. Like I'm really I really appreciate this. Like I can't Alrighty. I can't wait until you be like, yo, I need another interview. I that, can't wait. Listen, I would love to do another interview with you. Bring like, anybody this you is, want. This was good vibes. Like I I'm was a, nervous, but mm. I'm a chill nigga. I thought she was going to get in my ass. No, I was not about to I ask th- you. I thought she was going to try to embarrass no, me. I wasn't going to ask you if you be eating Q, <laughs> Ask me, do I eat ass? <laughs> <laughs> Even though Q, do you look like that nigga that be liking, that, that be liking this shit lick? <laughs> no, he don't like his ass lick. Oh, never no, mind. Then. My nigga don't like his ass lick. He a real nigga. That's too full. I don't like it either. But I mean, the it gooch. What is the gooch? 
<laughs> What's a gooch? It's the it's the it's the the little the little piece of meat under your balls right before your asshole. Ooh. That's your gooch. That's what you, you be suck doing. suck on that and lick on that. Yeah. That's that goo. Suck on that That's gooch. what she be doing, Q. I just picked yeah. up on it. Yeah. Real bitches know about it. Suck on that gooch. I be, we I be, suck on that hey, gooch. Q, I be sitting back. I be sitting back like, fuck, I'm about to fuck my credit up over this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Q approved. I'm not playing with it. It's like, uh, but, um, thank you. <laughs> oh well, I don't know. <laughs> but uh but thank you. I don't mind. Oh no. Thank thank you. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you singing the whole song together. Hey yo. Relationship goals. <laughs> hey yo. But uh thank you for tuning in for another interview with the best person I've met so far. This is the best interview I have before, like all, all before them, all the mother rappers. Like, this is that shit. This that shit I need. No cap. And thank you for Q for pulling up and making sure her, his girl good. I respect that. No cap. Um, you gonna see me next time? She gonna be here. She gonna have her next show. That's what she telling me. Hurry it. But we gonna see. It's gonna be the passionate show. That sound lit. Passionate show. I can't wait. Or the passion talk. They gonna Ooh. talk about dicks in the butt. So I, don't <laughs> I don't know. Q, Q gonna be like, yeah, I'm going to the bathroom. Doing in the butt. Uh, uh, Yo, Q, it. you better stop when she making you look bad, nigga. She, you got... <laughs> um, but we out this bitch. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming. Really yes, appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um. Until next time, you can, I mean, until next time, fuck that. October 30th, if you can catch me at the clubhouse, throwing ones with Wapinator, buy your fucking tickets. Every, every Instagram, every link you need is in the fucking description. Period. And fucking DM us, stop playing. It's only $20 a fucking ticket. Only $20. Good food. Good food. Y'all are gonna love my food. I'm cooking it. She cooking it. It's gonna be ass shaking. It's gonna be shots of Hennessy. And Henny gonna be there. I need to meet Henny. Is she light skin? She's 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 chocolate. Mm. Chocolate. Mm. Chocolate. Fuck that. I need that Instagram <laughs> right before you leave here. <laughs> I need to do him a nail so she know who I look like when I walk in the game. Chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> hey man, you it's another episode, another perfect interview. We out this bitch. We out. Bye. <laughs>